In an ideal world, we'd all start a business. It would be successful. We could employ multiple people, and we'd all live happily ever after in financial freedom. However, it seems that just to get there, we have to put in a lot of extra work elsewhere. For some people, your best starting point is to go to a job that pays well. And since the jobs in our list cover a range of fields from health and medicine, to the legal field, to entertainment, and even technology, you should be able to find something that aligns with your passion. Now, full disclosure here, we have salary numbers from job portal sites like Glassdoor, Salary Expert, and the Bureau of Labor Statistics. These are averages and salaries that fluctuate massively based on location and experience. The average American salary is around $59,000, and a comfortable salary will be between $70,000 and $100,000. So, we looked at jobs that went beyond that. Some jobs stand the test of time, and no matter the century, they will still be in demand. Other jobs are newer, and seem like they will continue to grow. So, without further ado, and in no particular order, here are 15 of some of the highest paying jobs right now. Number 1. Airline Pilot now, as an airline pilot and co-pilot, you can make around $161,000 a year. Imagine soaring through the skies, connecting people and cultures, and seeing the world from above. It's a career that combines a love for travel with a thrill of flying. As a pilot, you'd have to navigate through turbulent weather and keep your passengers safe. But the reward is a unique perspective of the world and the satisfaction of mastering a complex skill set. While you don't need a degree to become a pilot, a bachelor's in aviation will certainly help you on your journey there. Your next step will be flight school, where you will gain extensive flight training to acquire a commercial pilot's license. The FAA requires a minimum of 1,500 hours to fly as an airline pilot, which can be earned in about two years. Number two, pediatrician. Now, pediatricians earn around $184,000 a year. A handsome sum, but it comes with a lot of pressure. They witness the first steps, the first words, and the growth of their little patients. The challenge here, though, is not just medical. It's about earning the trust of the children and comforting the anxious parents. Yet, the joy of helping a sick child recover and the privilege of being part of that child's family life do make this job deeply fulfilling. In most places, a pediatrician must complete a bachelor's degree, four years of medical school, and a three to four year residency in pediatrics. Working hours can be very long, especially for those working in hospitals. Keeping on in the medical field, Number three, surgeon. On average, surgeons do very well, bringing in around $409,000 annually. But again, it comes with a wealth of responsibility. They have the power to heal with their hands. It's a career of precision, nerves of steel, and life-changing interventions. The pressure is immense, as every decision could have significant consequences. Yet, the ability to save lives and restore health makes it one of the most rewarding professions. To be a surgeon, you will need a bachelor's degree to go to medical school and then several years of surgical residency. Surgeons often work long hours and are on call for emergencies. The field is highly competitive and demanding. A step above general surgeons brings us to number four, neurosurgeons. Neurosurgeons are usually seen as the top rung of the ladder of medical professionals. They make over $600,000 a year, and based on what they do and how in demand they are, this number seems up to par. Neurosurgeons navigate the complexities of the human brain and spinal cord. It's a field that needs exceptional skill and precision. The challenges are daunting, as there is a risk of life-changing consequences. Adding on to that, the long work hours and stressing situations. Because of this, you can understand that their $600,000 a year is very well-deserved. Coming in at number 5, we have psychiatrists. Psychiatrists bring in over $220,000 a year. They work with the complexities of the human mind. They don't just treat illnesses, they also listen, counsel, and guide their patients. There's a lot of emotional weight in the work, but it's worth it when the reward is helping people to find balance and peace. Number 6. Data Scientist Data scientists are very in demand these days, and while their $130,000 salary is quite attractive, the accessibility and intrigue that comes with a job adds to its attractiveness. Data scientists uncover patterns and insights hidden in vast amounts of data. Their work involves using analytic technologies, including machine learning and predictive modeling, to solve complex problems. A typical day might include cleaning data, performing statistical analysis, and creating data visualizations to communicate findings. 
This role requires a strong foundation in mathematics, statistics, and computer science, often necessitating a master's degree or a PhD. Number seven, machine learning engineer. These folks make about $141,000 a year, and that number is set to increase over the coming years. They design and implement algorithms that allow machines to learn and make decisions. This role requires a deep understanding of both software engineering and data science. A typical pathway involves a bachelor's degree in computer science or related fields, often followed up by specialized training or a master's degree. It's an interesting job, but it can get tedious. But if you're a person who enjoys working with large data sets, this job might just be for you. If you love telling human stories while using observations and numbers, you may just enjoy the title of our number eight spot, Senior Software Developer. Senior software developers make about $130,000 a year. You could say that they're the pillars of the tech world. They don't just write code. They also lead projects, solve complex problems, and mentor junior developers. You need a bachelor's in computer science and a few years of experience. Once you're in the position, you've got to make sure you stay on top of technological changes and managing people. That's how you're going to deliver your great projects on time. It's no walk in the park, and you will probably be working very long hours. But you get to mix creativity with logic and solution building, so there's never a dull moment. Number 9. Investment Banker Investment banker salaries fluctuate quite a bit, but we're going with the average of $140,000 a year. They advise companies on financial strategies, including mergers, acquisitions, and raising capital. A degree in finance, economics, or business is typical, often followed by an MBA. It's high stakes, lots of networking, and sitting at your computer, trying to work out where the market is going to go. The hours are long, the stakes are high, and the environment is competitive, but the reward is grand. While the rewards can be great, it's not just about the money. Few things beat the thrill of closing a deal that you've been working toward. Number 10, CEO. In an ideal environment, CEOs can average around $192,000 a year. They're the visionaries who steer companies toward success. They make crucial decisions, lead teams, and shape the company's culture. There is no fixed path to becoming a CEO. It often involves a combination of education, typically an MBA, extensive experience, and leadership skills. The challenges are immense. From making tough decisions to handling stakeholder expectations, CEOs often work long hours, but the role offers you the opportunity to lead and shape an organization. Number 11, Engineering Manager. Engineering managers make around $124,000 a year. They're the bridge between technical teams and business objectives, so they have to speak two very different work languages. They oversee projects, manage teams, and ensure engineering goals align with the company's strategies. To become an engineering manager, you usually start off with a bachelor's degree in engineering and then gain a few years of extra experience in the field. There is a challenge that comes with balancing technical work, management responsibilities, project deadlines, and sticking to budgets. So you kind of have to be a jack of all trades here. But who better to do it than you? Number 12, Solutions Architect. As a Solutions Architect, you could be making around $130,000 a year. Solutions architects design the framework that keeps a business running smoothly. They will go into a business and talk to different teams to find out what a company needs in terms of technology. This could include a new app, a new customer management system, or a system with better data security. They then take this information and decide which technologies the company would benefit from the most. As a solutions architect, you are not just solving the problems, you are preempting them ensuring that systems are not only effective today, but adaptable for the future. Number 13, Petroleum Engineer. As a petroleum engineer, you would be making around $140,000 a year. You're the wizard behind extracting oil and gas resources that fuel our everyday lives. It's a field that combines innovation, adventure, and environmental awareness. You could be working on offshore rigs or developing new extraction technologies. It's not just about drilling, it's about finding smarter and safer ways to tap into Earth's resources. Number 14, sales. Look, sales have no ceiling. 
Being good at selling art, luxury cars, real estate programs, tech companies, and whatever else you could think of could make you north of $100,000 in a year or two with no degree or experience. But you do have to hustle for the amount of money you could potentially make with these sales. It's got a pretty low barrier of entry and potential for quick growth. You really just have to put yourself out there and go for it. Even jobs and investment banking are sales at a high level. Perfect your sales technique and there will be no limits to what you can earn. And last but not least, number 15, Enterprise Architect. As an enterprise architect, you can earn around $150,000 a year. Your job as an enterprise architect is to understand what the company should be achieving in the long run. You're going to look at what new markets you can expand into or how to improve your customer service. You map out where software systems, hardware, and networks are needed in a company. They are similar to solutions architects, but instead of focusing only in one specific area, they work with the entire organization to push the company forward. Now, I am sure these jobs are high paying and rewarding, but they are not easy. They'll take a lot of confidence and hard work and the starting years will be tough, but the end result has financial flexibility and a fulfilling career. If something on this list jumped out at you, it's definitely worth taking a closer look. Tell us though, what cool and high paying jobs did we miss? And what high paying jobs would attract you? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. Until next time, my friend, take care.